whether it's you're traveling to another country and you have to spend some time in the airport, or whether it's you're having a conversation with somebody. I, I found from my experience that if you're in a conversation that doesn't allow space for boredom, it will never reach anywhere. Interesting. Like if you meet, I now travel around the world and I meet these very uh, 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 powerful and famous and influential people. And the problem with powerful and famous and influential people, they don't have time. So if you get an hour with this person, then every minute should count. Mm. And boredom is, is the scariest thing because if the conversation becomes boring, it's over. I don't have time for this nonsense. I have to run this company. I have to run this country. I ca- boredom, you go bore somebody else with, with, with that. <laughs> so true. And, I love that. And then what you find is that you are forced all the time to all the time think, what's the most interesting and important thing I can say? Mm. And then you, reach, you usually reach out for the things you've already said a million times before and you know they are effective. And both of you find yourself just ex- exchanging these slogans, mm. and you never reach anywhere new. And to reach someplace new in a conversation, like you need to go somewhere and, and, and nobody really knows what they're talking about, and you're wandering around, and you realize, oh, it's not going anywhere, and you come back and you wasted 20 minutes on, on something which was, in the end, it, it was nothing. And you, you can't do it when you meet the president or whatever, but the most interesting conversations I had in life, it was like this long conversation when much of it was, was quite boring. Yeah. 